It was uh, you know, just right before 9.30 this morning when I heard on the scanner that three people had been shot in the Inglenook area. As I headed to the scene, I heard on police dispatch that it was at a UPS facility and that the shooter was still active and wearing a UPS uniform. Um, I arrived at the scene. We were pretty close to the UPS uh, customer service center initially. Um, a bunch of rescue vehicles, police cars are on the scene. They already had the police tape up, but there was not a huge sense of urgency like the active shooter was still ongoing. I had received a message from a source on the way to the scene that he, the shooter had killed himself. So that would explain the lack of urgency. Uh, hundreds of police officers ended up coming to the scene, both from Birmingham and Tarrant, and it was just a massive search scene. There were some employees outside, some employees of nearby businesses, uh, very somber, but didn't know much and had not heard anything. Uh, police have not publicly identified the shooter yet, but law enforcement sources, public records, a family member and church have identified him as Joe Tesney. His full name is Kerry Joe Tesney. He's 45 years old. He's a husband, a father. He had been fired sometime within the past month had appealed his firing and his firing the appeal his firing was upheld either friday or monday uh, birmingham police spokesman sean edwards said that last day the papers uh, monday the papers were official and he was not expected back today of course he showed up this morning on scene in his ups uniform uh, sources tell me that he specifically targeted at least one of his victims and that perhaps the second victim was simply in the way and in the wrong place at the wrong time.